Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Final for Kaiser of Spain. Let us continue on for the last that's off. They've got a little encirclement down here, thanks to the beautiful work of the Moroccans. So thank you, Morocco. Morocco, don't... Don't... Don't. Don't move, please. Morocco, stay there for a bit. Don't let them clean this up. Yeah, the commune's definitely not going to be making it, which I'm happy for. And even then, like, Russia is not doing very, very well. They're already at 66% capitulation. And then it's really just having to deal with the British. And I'm not too worried about the Brits. Like, landing on the island is sometimes a major pain in the ass. Like, that's for sure. But aside from that, it's usually never too, too bad. Yeah, we got... We've, or at least boarding Marseille. Avignon is worth one victory point, not too crazy. Again, I would still like to lose because it is still worth 10 victory points. Then we go take Avignon. How are you guys not dead yet? Like, genuine question. I don't understand how you're still living. But you will be dead in mere mo Please actually die. I guess we still have to fight the Italians too, huh? But I mean, the Nubia is doing pretty well against them, so I'm happy to see that. Uh, sure. Give me army regrouping. We can catch this airfield. It's got a bunch of planes in it. Okay, we cleaned up that little pocket, which is just lovely. So would it be logical if both France and Russia uh, fall like Britain? I have a decision to surrender. I think the only reason Britain has a decision right now is because it's a pain in the ass to land on the island. Like from a role playing perspective, I can see it. I mean, if you if you go and watch the Ottoman campaign, I basically head cannoned it into existence. Okay, clean both of you out. Then I don't think Blue Army is going to have anything to do. So I guess we're going to send Blue Army to go deal with the S Italians? I don't... Will Marseille kill France? It might, actually. And we actually have a... Oh, we actually connect here as well. Okay, let's see if we can move our way to Nantes. Because, like, once France falls, like, it's so over for the international as a whole. I mean, especially since Russia is also losing pretty badly. Like, Germany's doing very, very well under two-front war. There we go. Communist France has collapsed. I'm going to take every single state because I got claims to it, motherfuckers. And now, Blue Army, we're going to send you to Italy. Purple Army, I'm also going to send you to Italy. Brown Army, I'm not too worried about a potential British landing anymore, so I'm actually going to send you down towards Arizon. I, I find it a little bit strange that um, the name for Zarzan doesn't change if they go socialist. Or even, like, you know, Republican. What's up? What's the hockey for this one again, Zed? Okay. Yeah, so clean up these small pockets. After that, I guess we'll have Red start to try to establish some sort of naval invasion from La Harve, maybe into Dover. The Spanish Navy, I will admit, is not the greatest in the world. Yeah, let's get our units all towards the front lines. Yeah, let's clean you guys up. So now that France falls, I'm pretty sure... I'll check in just a second. I'm pretty sure... Doesn't the Eastern Front just become the entire international? Yes, it does. Is it led by the British? No, it's led by the Russians. Okay. I'm not too sure how the game decides who should be in charge. Maybe it's always Russia. But Britain's still a major power, right? Yes. So you will need to kill both of them. Do you have infantry expert, by the way? Yes, you do. I'm, I'm always a fan of infantry expert. Most of they use too many infantry. Give me more trains, please, and then give me more rifles. Actually, give me more tanks. And let's build up two more tank divisions, please. 
Actually, I think we can get like four. We just need more actual guns. And that, that's our biggest issue right now, is we don't have the guns at the moment. Maybe one day we'll have guns. I don't I don't know though. I'm not gonna reclaim to see the future. Move you here, crush you. Move here for the encirclement. Even more submarines, please. I do have to deal with this. So I guess after this red, we'll march here. I need to worry about any of these other things. Like heroism? Nah, not really. And you'll be killed off in a second. Red Army, go to Sherbrooke. Take that, please, and thank you. Germany, thank you for the 6,000 guns. Actually, that does mean a does mean a lot to me. Now, the question is... Wait, 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 wait. Why are the Dutch in their own separate Third International? Wait, is, why, is, why are the Dutch in their own different faction? What the hell? Okay, well... Obviously, you're going to go to Germany. Did I get Germany cores over all the Netherlands? I did. It's actually, uh, Mark State, Mark State, Mark State, Mark State. Please remove your cores from the Netherlands. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. So that means each German unit can go do something else, which is good. By the way, Germany's does use Indies. They are in the Entente. Like a bunch of babies. Don't they know that the Entente sucks? They gotta realize at some point. Okay. Everything here is looking good. Can I start my naval invasion? Ten division sounds good to me. Your naval inv your invasion plans have disappeared. Please just keep invading. We need to take Turin. I, I don't think the Italians are going to last too much longer. They they should fall pretty pretty soon. My units I send the Zars in. How are you guys actually doing? I mean, Russia, like, literally doesn't have that many units. Did the country name change? Unfortunately, no. Nah, we are still just... We, we are still just Spain. I'm not too sure there's something else we need to do. Maybe because the French Republic still exists? But we'll, we'll, we'll see if we maybe get, like, a pop-up. Or, or something of that nature. Oh, you need to be at peace. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Moscow's fallen. So Russia's almost dead. I need all of you pushing towards Zarazin, please. Did we take Petrograd? Not yet, but we've taken Moscow. Which I'm happy to see. Of course, Italy, like I said, I hate fighting in Italy. How's superiority? 56%. Well, let's bring my navy up to La Harve. Okay, these will fall in a moment. They have taken Rome, which is a little bit of a pain in the ass. But I, I don't see them ha lasting too, too long. Did we take Zara's in yet? We're at 94%. We're getting closer and closer. Frank your line down. Literally just be in Zara's in. After that, we'll put our units up towards Petrograd to take that city. Are you still on careful? No, you're okay, you're on careful. Say you the regular, please.
Okay, our navy is here. And our main navy, let's have you assigned by this general. They're in probably like every major port. Yeah, the international the the Dutch and their own individual international. My favorite international organization, the Netherlands. Okay, let's fly some planes over in the English Channel. You need to Oh you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I do need to do the French coronation. You're right. Thank you, Zalan. I pre I completely forgot. Okay, Zarazin's collapsed, which means I'm going to get these units to recall. We're going to send them up towards Petrograd. We, we so outnumber the Russians, it's kind of embarrassing. I mean, we do, we do have naval superiority. I'm hoping we can land in... Uh, we take Turin? We did. So the Italians probably are not going to last too much longer either. Russia is currently at 47... Rush is so fucking dead, man. You'll know Rush is dead when the game basically freezes for a little bit. That's that's when you know. That's when you know. How long is this? It's gonna be 21 days. Should we give me ground support commander? Sure, why not? I mean, we'll try the naval invasion. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we can get done. How much are you worth? Three. Drink your line even more. We just want to take Petrograd. Oh, there's a lot of units there, huh? Okay, let's just let's go back home for a second. What about Portsmouth? Do you think that's gonna be a little bit easier to take? I hope so. Uh let's go industry, thank you. Germany's been invaded, have they? Oh, Germany. Oh, that's what you mean. Germany invaded there. Okay, I, I see. I see. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm glad for that. By the way, the Entente, are they still fighting against the CSA? They are and losing horribly. Well, what I'm hoping for is that... Yeah, they just have abandoned this port to go stop the Germans. So let's open up our second front line here. Hey, we've done it. Russia has completely collapsed. Gatrenberg has fallen. Renew German ties. Sure, why not? Here's the thing. Like, I think the, the end of the campaign is, like, right now. We got the Kingdom of France, led, of course, by Henry IV. He's got two different names. That's how, cra that's how, uh, that's how kingly he is. Okay, so we're going to delete your plans. Move your way to La Harvey, please. And Red, you're just going to go as aggressively as you can into England. That's kind of your plan right now. Yeah, Germany, Germany's dead. The Danubian Federation has taken literally everything. Sure, why not? If we can get you over to Plymouth, capture these areas here, get you over to go Bristol and Cardiff. How are you guys doing in Italy? You're doing just fine. So, you know, we're going to take one of your armies. We're going to send you to England, please. And I said we're going to send you to England. Stop clicking on the airport. I know, give me more trucks. Sure, we have no oil for the trucks, but don't worry about that too much. You guys are already here? Damn. 
Go support the Germans, and your job is going to be to push your way uh, north into England as well. So who's else in the international? Finland, Chile, technically, Britain, Italy. But nobody else that really matters. We do need more oil. Let's import the oil from the Pacific States. Sure. Don't trade. We actually don't need you anymore. We do need more steel. Can I get the steel from the French? Hey, of course we can. Thank you, France. Gonna take Plymouth. Move our way towards uh, London, of course. Go take Oxford. And this has been a really, really quick... Like, we've only been playing for, like, a little over two hours. <laughs> this has been an incredibly quick series. Okay, move you guys here. Move you guys here. Move you in this direction. I know some reinforcements are going to go down over to Cornwall. Give them their support. Okay, we're at 74. Dover's going to collapse. Yeah, we're going to do some left KMT recordings after this. I'm, ju I'm just stunned. I mean, I guess we just did really, really well. I feel like Russians build it up uh, more divisions when they enter civil conflicts. I mean, that's, that's quite possible. Okay, Italy is dead. And finally, we've, we've fulfilled the dream that the Spaniards have held for a long time. We invaded England. American Union State, they're actually doing really, really well. I mean, they're, they're kind of, you know, a little weird, but that's okay. We're all a little weird sometimes. Britain, how you're not dead yet, huh? Yeah, go up towards Liverpool. Just keep crushing more and more units. We're going to have you go into Scotland, please. I think it'd be hilarious if we could put Henry or uh, we could put uh, Jamie on the throne in England as well. Unfortunately, I don't think that's a possibility, but it would be nice. Okay, Finland's collapsed. That's fine. Move you in this direction. You guys move up to here. The Olympics have been canceled. England, you really need to give up at this point, okay? Like, I don't want to. I don't want to sound rude. But you, you, it's over. You are at 24%. We'll take hold next. By the way, how much of the war does it think I've done? 14%? Well, to be fair, I guess I didn't fight much of the Russians, so fair. Okay. So, who gets Russia? I'm going to say Germany does. Here you go, uh, Germany. Who gets Italy? That's going to uh, that's gonna be two Sicilies. You know what, Danubia? You've been great. You can have Finland. And, of course, I'm going to take the Union of Britain. A classic... Look at that. That that Now that, that's a Spain. We lost our overseas empire, but my god, have we gotten ourselves a European empire now. And it's beautiful. We're technically still at war with Chile, but I'm not going to worry. How has Chile lost 166,000 men? Chile, what the hell? Yeah, this is what I said before. This is this is Germany releasing Russia. Just gonna take a a few many seconds, a, a few billion trillion seconds. 
Hey, there we go. Okay. So. We got Russia, Siberia. See what else Germany wants to do with the rest of this territory here. Fate of Britain. Let's create a British loyalist government. The British Republic. No! Jamie, you had the chance to do the funniest thing. Okay, renew German trade. We're probably not going to declare war on the Entente. No, no offense. So what we're going to do... Bleeding communes collapse. Apparently I didn't do anything there, so I'm just going to confirm an exit. And then we're just going to state management tool, select all, transfer over to the Germans. I think we have like one event left. Yeah, we're going to autofocus to, to see the final events, but that, that that's about it. I would say we've got a, we got a pretty good empire going on here. A very, very nice empire. So we're going to do focused auto autocomplete. New Spanish man, organic democracy. The Party Congress of Austria National. Austria National uh, has outwardly been a united party since the creation in 1930. There's been a growing divide between the moderate and radical wings of the party, which has been fueled by the many political crises Spain has faced over the years. The eruption of the Civil War has only served to uh, deepen the rift between uh, even further, with an increasing number of clashes between the two wings over policy implementation. Therefore, Party Congress has been called to put an end to the party's unity and to determine the direction the party should take. The reigning radical wing of the party is led by Jose Maria Gil Robles, who uh, appeals mainly to political influential radical right with his staunch Catholicism and uncompromised attitude towards the enemies of Spain. He is challenged by Jose Calvo Sotil, uh, resenting the moderate wing and defending the needs of parliament and the suffrage under a responsible regime, whose appeals to have been disillusioned by the increasing radical direction the party has taken. So we can go social conservative. Or we stay authoritarian. Well, I mean, I mean, the authoritarian wing has won the war. So he will secure his position here. And I would say that with that... why did, I don't know what's going on with these borders, I'll be honest. Are you still in the Reichs Pact? You are, probably because you're still at war with the Chile or something like that. I'm not too sure. By the way, can I just say... Can I just say greatest borders I've ever seen in my entire life? Holy shit. That is beautiful. <laughs> World's greatest borders there. Please fix it. Fine. We'll give that to Finland. Was this Carlos? No, we were, we were just a regular uh, kingdom of Spain. But with that, I think it's going to be a good time for us to end this, end this episode and, in fact, end this entire series. That went way, way smoother than it had any right to be, let's be honest. <laughs>